So to sum it all up, the summary of the summary, it is a 12 step process. Dear guests, welcome back to the channel. Today, let us talk about how do we use QRH summaries. Disclaimer, do refer to your company manual and Airbus manuals. This video is merely a guide. QRH refers to quick reference handbook and in that book, we have certain failures that have summaries in them. Question, what is a summary? A summary is a brief statement of the main points of something. So, because there is a lot of information coming your way, you want to know only the important points. Airbus have summaries for namely electrical emergency configuration and dual hydraulic failures. Do watch my video to know more about the failures. So, to start with, the summaries are divided into four sections and also we use it on all four areas of flight. The four parts of the handling of failures are number one, deciding what to do this is assessing the situation and deciding the next course of action an analogy is if you want to change jobs you will sit down with your spouse and discuss on the pros and cons of leaving for another job number two once you have decided what to do you have to make preparations this is akin to once you decide to start a new job you make preparations for the transition number three is briefing along the way as you take action and transitioning to your new job you sit down with your spouse and tell her what you plan to do when you start your new job you will tell her on how are you going to travel for work what time are you expected back and other miscellaneous items and number four doing the actual work this is when you have decided where to go prepared to go told how you're going to go about it and now it is time to take action so let us go through step by step let us take an example we all learn from examples you are flying and halfway through an electrical emergency configuration happen first things first fly the aircraft turn the fds off and switch to track fpa the bird you are in alternate law so be aware of it once the aircraft is stable call for ecam actions for a step-by-step -step guide on the ecam do watch this electrical emergency configuration video once you are done with the ecam actions look at the status page which give you all the relevant information and now it is time to assess the situation for this we will take out the qrh and flip to the electrical emergency configuration summary part the cruise part of the summary will help you in your decision making process for this particular case you only fly 320 knots in alternate law only the captain pitot and aoa are heated and, and center tank fuel is unusable well in some aircraft you can use the center tank fuel but up to two tons is unusable fuel is fed to the engines by gravity so the amount of fuel needs to be taken into consideration since electricity is limited you will only have communication and navigation equipment on the left side only you can determine the landing distance required by using the efb so when you read the cruise part you know the flight capability of the aircraft and also you are able to make a decision on which runway or airport you are planning to land okay say you and your partner made up your mind to land in airport x Time to prepare. Preparation is the key to success. Use the information that you gather from the status page and also use the next three parts of the summary which is the approach, landing and go around. So on the approach section, you have only Cat 1 capability. We have to maintain speed of 140 knots and above for the red speed. Slats and flaps will be slow. Use flaps 3 for landing and when gear is down, use man pitch trim because once the wheels are down, you will be in direct law. On the landing section, only 2 spoilers per wing is used for braking. No reverses and braking will be alternate without anti-skid. Max brake pressure will be 1000 psi and no nose wheel steering. That means we will need tow truck assistance when we land. Last but not least, for the go-around section, once the gear is up lock, you will lose your protection. So question, what if in certain failures we need to perform landing with slats or flaps jam and landing with gravity gear extension procedure? Do we jump to that part of the QRH? The answer is no. All information and steps that is relevant to the failure will be in the summary page. That is why they call it the summary page. Once the FMGS is set up, it is time for briefing. Refer to the approach, landing and go around sections of the QRH and also the status page for reference. Brief on the relevant points. Once the briefing is done, shoot for the approach. So when on the approach, refer to the approach section. For this case, slats and flaps are slow and you will be in direct law when the gear is down. When the aircraft is fully configured, pilots can quickly review the landing and go-around sections as a reminder. Pilot monitoring can remind the pilot flying on what to do. 
Finally, pilot monitoring will check with the status page and make sure all approach procedures are completed. So to sum it all up, the summary of the summary, it is a 12-step process. Number one, situation assessment. Perform all the ECAM actions, read the status page, open the QRH summary and read the cruise section. Take note of the fuel consumption and calculate the landing performance. Next, make your decision. Number two, approach preparation. Refer to the status page and read the approach, landing and go around part of the summary. Prepare the FMGS. Number three, approach briefing. As reference, refer to the approach, landing and go around summary and FMGS pages. Also refer to the status page. And number four, commencing the approach itself. Refer to the approach section and when the aircraft is in final configuration, review the landing and go around sections as a reminder. And last but not least, check the status page and make sure all approach procedures are completed.